Today we're going to be looking at the X's and O's code wars problem uh, using Python. So the, the problem says check to see if a string has the same amount of X's and zeros. Uh, I think they're actually O's not zeros. The method must return a boolean and be case insensitive. The string can contain any character. Here's some examples. So this this is true because I guess this is the same number of each uh, O and X. This is false because there's one more X than O. This one's true, so the M gets ignored and the uppercase X gets downcased. This is true apparently because there are no X's and zeros present and this is false because there's two O's and no X's. So let's have a go at this one. Um, so we've got the input the input string S which will be uh, yeah, one one string. So we need to split that somehow. I believe we can use if I cast this to a list. That should uh, that didn't work. Oh, sorry. I've been doing too much Ruby. Yeah, so the the string gets cast into a list and uh, which works essentially because um, strings can be iterated over iterated over character by character um, so as it iterates over each character it turns that into an element of the of the list and So I'll assign that to a variable and I can use that to iterate over. So I can do a for loop here for character, I'll just say for C in Charles. And I can say if C is equal to X, do something, um, do something else, uh, LF, uh, C is equal to zero, or O, I should say, then do something else. So I guess really all I need to do is, well, first of all, I'll count up the number of occurrences. So I guess the easiest way I can do that is have a one counter for X's and one counter for zero, for O, sorry. <laughs> I keep getting my O and zeros confused. So now if I get an X, I'll increment the counter. And if I get an O, I'll increment that counter. So let's see how this is working. I'm going to print out the X count and the zero and the O count. And I've made a mistake here. Oh yeah. Okay, so the first one is one and one, the second one is one and one, and the next one is three and two. So that that looks to be working correctly. The, the other thing the problem talked about was uppercase. So I'm gonna write a test case for that. 
So it's if if I pass in this I do x x o o that should be true. Sorry. Let's test that. And we get a failing test. Um, yeah, so I need to need to down case um, this last one essentially. Um, so if I do um, I think I can do C dot lower and same here. And I'm not quite sure what's going on here, the why multiple tests are failing. I'll just remove this test case for a second. Oh, sorry, I'm being uh, stupid. I'm not actually returning. Uh, they were they were failing before. I'm not not I'm not um, returning anything. Comment those out. Yeah, so I get um, two and two because now these are being downcased, and um, it's counting them correctly. So to actually make these tests pass, I need to essentially just count, or I should say compare the results. So if I return the x count and ask if it's equal to the o count, aha, everything's passing. So let me attempt this. So it runs against all the other test cases. 28 passed, so that looks that looks good. Now, so this this works, but it's a little bit verbose, or it's a little bit. Um, how should I say? There's a lot of um, unnecessary logic going on. I suppose we've got it, uh, an iteration. Um, Inside that we have a an if else statement. We've got two counters. Um, so one way that I could shorten this or reduce the complexity. I'm just going to comment everything out for a moment. What I can do is try to avoid iterating essentially I think there's some Python methods that we can use to just operate on the string as it is without needing to split it into characters and iterate over them so the first thing I can do is I can just call lower on the string so this will um, take the input string lowercase it lowercase everything in the string and then reassign it to s Then I can return um, well actually so I can so Python has a count method which you can call on string so I can actually count the number of x's so it's you're counting the number of occurrences of a substring within a string so here I can count the number of x characters inside s and I can compare that to the count of zeros so what's cool here is I'm not having to split the string or anything I'm just using a uh, native Python function to um, do the counting for me and that's pretty much all I need to do I can just return that value or that result and you can see that works as well. So I can attempt. 
And there we go. So that was two, two methods for solving this problem. One was by manually iterating and counting the characters individually. And the other is uh, far simpler when you know how to do it, but it's essentially just using um, Python's count method to count the number of characters in the string. Thanks for watching.